<laughs> this enemy is casting, man. You want some more spice? Let's make a deal, boy. This anime is gonna get casted. Holy shit. Oh, man, this anime is oh. <laughs> spinning. I'm so happy. I'm so good. This anime is so controversial. Of course, I want some more spice. All for a cat, you know. What? Oh! Power betrays Danny. I thought Maki was gonna be the evil one. Man, she's gonna sell out Danny for a cat? You're gonna kill it, right? Never trust a demon. Yeah, Miyoko! They never trust a goddamn demon. Only friend. Her only cat in the world would work. Maybe she's like, Danny, if you kill him, you get all eyes right. Can I give up? What? what? Power dies too? Okay, I think she's gonna be like, I don't even. I don't even feel sick yet. Then there's the eyes back. He wants. He really wants the eyes. Power he smacks Danny, right? And yeah, I, I am the only. So that surprised me, right? Coming in as a review standpoint. I was like, oh. She just kind of whacked him. Uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I, I thought that Makima was going to be the one to whack Danny eventually, right? Um, it, it was uh, surprising. On the same time, though, right? When you saw that house, I was like, whether the house looks absurdly suspicious, like taking him to this house, empty house on a hill, uh, this is a trap, right? So, in that sense, I kind of expected her to kind of betray him, or either them go into a trap, or her, yeah. Uh, is it, so I was like over surprised, but still I didn't think she should suddenly just gonna smack him. But but I, but what I like with this scene is that you can kind of look at Danny, uh, you know, he's very gullible to some extent, right? He's very like, oh, I get some old pies, oh, you can do it. Uh, but at the same time, he kind of kind of figured out that she was gonna betray him here, right? So he was kind of let's fight, right? So so yeah, so it gives him the credit, right? And then of course we got into learning about her cat, right? And uh, obviously a very similar backstory then to Daniel, right? He also mentioned earlier that he's like, uh, he's like a dog person, right? You know, he's like, uh, I cannot prefer dogs, <laughs> right? So he kind of had that little scuffle earlier in that one line there. But it, um, I keep coming back to this thing, right? Uh, I do assume that she's going to be alive, right? She, she got eaten alive because she kind of gave up and her, you know, cat died, right? Uh, her poor cat got eaten. But it does feel like she's going to just, you know, Come out fine, right? Then he's gonna like carve her out <laughs> of the demon, and maybe even the cat is fine. Maybe his power strategy was like, if he eats me, if he, if I let the guy eat me, right, completely, I can go to his stomach and save the cat. Yeah, I'm just like, maybe, maybe it's part of a plan. <laughs> maybe it's like a strategy <laughs> employed by power. She was like, what if I go inside of his stomach? Yeah, you know, if you seen like, um, was it Gordon Galaxy two? Yeah, the beginning of second and. Drax is like, what if I jump inside of its stomach, right? That's a weak spot for it. I'm gonna enter its stomach to find it from the interior, right? Yeah, it's like, that's a strategy. Um, but I certainly think that next episode, yeah, then it will save her and then it will be best to strike because they clearly had the bond there when, uh, you know, we saw her flashback. It's like, uh, yeah, I want to show the flashback here then because she's like naked the whole flashback. <laughs> yeah. uh, she's like, oh, oh, the whole flashback, right? But, um, Certainly felt like they had a little, you know, a, a short bond when she just stared at him and said, yeah, that, yeah. She kind of stared at Danny and was like, yep, that's the only thing I care about. So I, 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 I'm coming back to this thing, right? But I feel they're going to be besties after this episode now. Right? He saves her, then they're going to be like, yeah, and ooh, yeah, dogs and cats, right? <laughs> so they're going to be uh, best friends, right? But a stiffy power... Like she kept basically, you know, throwing him under the bus the whole episode, right? Yeah. She like betrayed him, betrayed him to Makima. So I feel they're gonna be best friends, but it, but it's probably more like a sibling thing, you know what I mean? Like you have your little sister, right? And she's like, she's your bestie, but sometimes she's like, hey mom, he did that thing. Yeah, I feel she's gonna like betray Danny every now and then. But it's gonna be, I hope so, right? But I, I, I hope so. But what I mean is that they should betray him, you know? But like I said, in that kind of sibling rivalry betrayal, well, they're still best friends, but she kind of betrays him, you know, like every now and then. On, on, on a more like, what's, what's it called? Um, on less serious stuff, right? I feel, I feel she will like continuously backstab Danny because everyone else is abusing him, right? So I'm, I'm guessing she's gonna, I'll say it, you know, you know, do like small backsteps, <laughs> you know what I mean? I wish you gonna like, you know, do a little shipping backstep every now and then. Doesn't really matter so much. That's probably what I feel the uh, ship's gonna be, right? Yeah, he's gonna be mean to him, but not like overly mean, right? And Makima, I, I'm honestly guessing he's gonna have a massive, you know, massive backstep. Right? And power is more like once a day, like a, a tiny backstep. <laughs> that's that's what I expect to have me on the right? But I think it's interesting, right? I'm waiting for him to cancel. No, but it's like. It's like the last week, right? Danny is clearly very easily manipulated by the ladies, though. And this is kind of going to his character, right? 
that is obsessed with magma, so the ending is so on too, right? But it's also immediately the power is like, oh, you want some Opai? I got Opai. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. You also feel like, yes, he's obsessed with magma, but I. But it does feel like then he could betray Makima too, right? Or whatever you call it. But, you know, he's like, any other woman that likes him, right? Any other woman that's offering some companionship. And then he's like, yes, <laughs> just go, <laughs> right? It, it doesn't really feel like he's going to be, you know, that he... I mean, it's being like, on the same time, Makima is portrayed as like he's, you know, oh, I worship you, you're like my goddess, right? But I also feel he will cheat the Makima in a, in a heartbeat, right? Yeah. He's going to sleep with any other character if they want to, right? You know what I mean? So that 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 makes it yeah he's just superly he's codependent to her but also like superly into you he's super horny <laughs> his thirst is what drives him forward I guess right oh my god um but I I never expect the anime to have um, if you're gonna do more more a serious note right the anime is very you know bloody and so on and I I didn't expect it to be a little bit of controversial right I haven't seen too much of it yet right. Except with, with Shibi being uh, all these threats against him, right? Because he made like a joke with Makima or something like that. But uh, I'm thinking more from like the, you know, non-anime fans, right? Because episode 2, of course, has Danny being like, Oh, I need to get some Oppai, right? And this whole story that here is like Danny like, Oh, I will fight for you, power, because of Oppais. So I, I definitely, I, I just like to see kind of the meta stuff too, right? I definitely expect people to get angry with this anime. Yeah, I expect this anime to be... You know, remember like Shield here or whatever, right? Yeah, I expected to go like, you know, oh my god, this anime is gonna be cancelled or whatever. We'll see how Twitter handles it, but I, I do expect that, right? Uh, um, but anyway, yeah, I watched it on TV, just had all the ad breaks, right? You know, when I take a break and so on. But one way though, I'll sit the last thing here, and I hope you guys subscribe and so on, right? One thing though, I have to say though, and I'm thinking about this, I don't say I'm doing it, but actually, but I have to say, doing live streams like my around, like real, real live streams, right? Then I get the ad break and so on, honestly. I personally feel it isn't that bad because you can like watch the episode, right? Then I can give a little bit of my opinions, right? And that's like a one minute break and an opinion. Yeah, it's a little bit like pausing during a live stream, right? Some people hate that, right? You know, people that watch reactions, they hate that because you can't align the time. I, I get it, right? Uh, but on my aspect, I, I do feel that makes it a higher quality because I can actually give you a little bit of my opinion, my theories during the part of it. I don't know what do you guys think, but I'm obviously gonna like cut it down afterwards. I, I do enjoy watching Japanese ads though, right? Because I either use a bunch of oppies, it's like seriously, half the ads in Japanese TV is just like boobs, right? It's like, oh, let's buy this thing! And it's just girls running around with, you know, in like bikinis. It's like the new Jeff Girls 2 is coming, so it's like you get that all the time. It's like, you know, girls in bikinis on, on jet skis, right? And then the other ads are basically like, here's a toothpaste commercial. But the guy is like a dragon and he jumps on a tree or something and then it explodes and you're like Okay, and then it's like bye, you know, Ryokin toothpiece and you're like How does this relate to toothpaste whatsoever? <laughs> I have no idea But anyway, if you subscribe, press the like button right and see you guys tomorrow with Isekai and Mob Psycho then Yeah, the ending was just incredibly Mob Psycho feel too bad, so you guys have a great day